It's one of the biggest sporting events of the year, so here's all you need to know about the FIFA Women's World Cup 2019. It's the eighth time that the tournament is being held. The first was in 1991, 61 years after the men's. Now, it didn't help that women were banned from playing on club football grounds in several countries, including England and Germany, until the 1970s. This year's tournament is taking place in France in June and July, and 24 teams have qualified. Just four have won the title, though. That's the US, Japan, Norway, and Germany. In every way, women's football is on the rise. Global TV audiences are growing, as are the number of spectators. More than 800,000 tickets have already been sold for this year's event, with the opening match, semi-finals and final, selling out within 48 hours. The 2015 Women's World Cup in Canada attracted more than half a billion TV viewers worldwide, and the final game between the US and Japan was the most watched football game ever in the US, with over 25 million viewers tuning in. The winning US women's team then received $2 million in prize money, and that amount is set to double for the winners of this year's World Cup in France. However, it's still far less than the winning men's team got last year. It's often argued that this is linked to the difference in revenue generated by the men's and women's events. But the sports governing body, FIFA, which sets the prize money, says that commercial revenues from the Women's World Cup cannot be separated from those for other FIFA competitions, as the rights are often sold as a package. Despite grievances about unequal treatment and support, participation in women's football is on the rise. In 2017, more than 1.3 million female players were registered with a national football association or affiliated club in Europe. There's a growing number of youth players, semi-pro and pro players, as well as qualified coaches and match officials. And that's just Europe. FIFA says it's working to increase female participation in football across the world. So if you trust in numbers, women's football has become a serious force to be reckoned with.